What's going on guys? My name is Garrett here on the Jobless Gamers channel and we are back with another Squadcast. This is our weekly podcast series that we do every Saturday and I'm joined with Mr. Boss of the Wind. Hello. And Austin the Saints fan. What's up? Now this is episode 13 of the Squadcast and this Squadcast is brought to you by Sennheiser. They sent out each of us some awesome headsets. They're called Game One. Make sure you guys check out the link down below and it's just an awesome, very comfortable headset. Before we jump into the Squadcast, Ross, do you want to say anything about the headset? What you enjoy really quickly? I mean, it's super comfortable. Like I said, it's uh, PC only, so I only use it for PC. And, like, it's the most comfortable headset I've ever worn. And the microphone quality is really good, too. So when I'm in, like, a Skype chat, like, everyone can hear what I'm saying perfectly fine. It's a really good headset. So if you want one, uh, definitely get it. Perfect. So, yep. And I just want to say, it's not the game one, it's the game zero. So if you're looking it up on their website, we'll have links in the description. But, um, but yeah, zero? go check it out. Yeah, yeah it's Garrett's, Garrett's just planning for his custom second edition that he's going to call See, it game Garrett, one. Garrett, give Garrett, uh, you know, benefit of the doubt. He's been up playing Watch Dogs, which he'll give us, you know, his opinions on it so far later on in this squad cast. But, uh, but yeah. All right. Well, I didn't even, I could have sworn it was the game one. I guess I'm looking at the wrong one. But let's go ahead and jump into today's topics, and that is City Stories, the new trademarked, I guess, thing that Take-Two did. Then we have GTA 5 DLCs that we want to see, Watch Dogs information, and just us talking about things that we like in Watch Dogs, things we don't like. And lastly, GTA 5 mods um, that we would like to see in the near future, or mods that have recently come out that we can talk about. So let's jump into the City Stories. Ross, I did a video. Did you do a video, Austin, as well about it? Yep. Okay, so we yeah. all did videos about this awesome thing that just came out and who wants to jump on it first um ross you can go ahead because i think you might know a little bit more because i just yeah made like a, i just yeah, read the article um, a little bit i am looking at it right now and basically what like the city stories trademark is uh a lot of people got excited for this and, and like they should obviously any trademark that revolves around grand theft auto is exciting but I think this is more in line for a portable slash mobile version of Grand Theft Auto. Because all these city stories that have come out so far, like Vice City stories and Liberty City stories, have come out on the PSP. Or, yeah, yeah it's the PlayStation Portable and the PS Go. And I don't know what they are because I've never played them. But I essentially think they're just little mini stories that take place within yeah, that so, Grand Theft Auto. So what they are is just like a playable version that works on portable devices now, yeah i remember i used to have a couple of them back in the day and i mean i don't know i barely remember them but you know they were fun they were cool but uh i know they actually were ported to the ps2 and i think even the ps3 through some like uh i don't know some system on the ps3 that they got that you can play like older games but um wasn't there like a recent one that came out like I think it was for the iPhone or for iPad or something. Yeah, that's right. I think it was for it San Andreas. Was, no, it was, was San Vice, Andreas. San Andreas or Vice City? No, it, it was, was San, San Andreas. Andreas. It was. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But yeah, I think I think it's cool. Um, but I also wish that the city stories. We don't know what it is yet. No one knows what it is. But we can assume they're going to be following what they've done in the past with these city story games. But do you think? I just because, saying, it would be very cool if this was more well, of a well. Here's the thing. GTA here's the thing. DLC thing. Going on that. They did say in the past that uh, you know Rockstar said that they want to expand the the GTA universe. I guess like in online, like they don't just want to have GTA online in um, Los Santos. They want to move it yeah. to other cities. And somebody was saying, you know, my comment section on the video, how you know great would it be if it was literally city stories and it was like a bunch of different because it's just city stories. There's no like. Yeah, name, city yeah, in front yeah. of it, like name in front of it. So it could be a bunch of different cities. Well, that's what I think it and, is too. I think well, it's the, they'll they'll there. eventually slap a name in front of it because they already have the trademarks to all their made up cities like Los Santos and Vice yeah. City. So they just needed to reclaim city stories again. But I think for a DLC like online or for GTA Five, you would probably we'd probably see the trademark episodes from. Because GTA, like, episodes from Liberty City, that includes the Battle of Gaytoni and the Lost in the Dam. So I don't know if that's, like, any, if that has anything to do with it or not. Maybe, but, um, maybe it's, like, the city, the, uh, the city stories update. I don't know. And, like, maybe it is a single-player DLC, but then it also adds that landmass that, say, you go to, I don't know, Vice City. But they add Matt to, to, uh, to online. And there, especially if there's going to be a next-gen version, it's, it's definitely possible. Are there any magazines in GTA 5 that say City Stories? Hey, 
<laughs> hey, listen, I made that video like two months ago, so yeah. Well, that's why I brought it up because everybody knows about yeah, it. Because yeah, because here's the thing. Yeah, I mean, watch, watch, like there's like I just said it just because it makes sense. But watch there be something there, like. Now, well, I don't think I think the other two, um, other two magazines that, and if you have no idea what we're talking about, basically, like there's these magazines. I don't even know where they're at in the in game. Uh, the, in the yeah, barbershop. Barber yeah. So on them, there was about five or six on the table, and I think three of them had. What was the DLC? They had the business DLC, the yeah, highlight, yeah, and then they had the, the first one. I can't hear. Yeah, the beach bum. And the other two were like a movie themed one and a sports Base, themed yeah, one. Baseball, yeah, another yeah. one was a baseball one. Yeah, baseball. yeah, so, you know, if those might be the next DLCs, who knows? Um, but, yeah, I don't think there was a city stories thing. Maybe there's some like Easter egg. I mean, there's always Easter eggs that it seems it's, people It's find. Rockstar here. They literally yeah. have so many. They have a, a one out of the four guys is like dedicated just to putting the Easter egg thing. <laughs> now, see, do you think, <laughs> wait, we learned to have five guys now? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. A fifth we of their development team one of them is Easter live stream the other day. Yeah. But, uh, but no, but do you think, because um, I think it was somebody like confirmed that in the next, I think it was Rockstar actually, or Take Two, they confirm that, like, in the next year, there's going to be another Rockstar game. Do you think that a mobile game is going to be it? Like, I don't know what it's going to be, but honestly, I, I, I don't, think this I don't, City I Stories... I have a hard time believing. I think, yeah, city I think it's going to be related to City yeah, Stories. It's going to be for GTA Online. I think the, the direction they want to go with GTA Online is they want to make, no, make it live. They want to make it so that yeah. in GTA Online, it's probably going to be for new gen and PC only because there's no way this current gen, oh, the oh, last yeah, gen can handle this. It so it would be it, like yeah. you would be going from Los Santos to Vice City to um, um, Liberty, Liberty City. Liberty City. City. God, I couldn't think of the name. Even, I mean, they might even put, you know, a Los Venturas. Yeah, yeah the more logical something. ones seem to be the ones that are still There's even a San, what is it, San, San Fiera? Yeah, is that's that what it is? Uh, what's yeah, it San Francisco. Francisco. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, dude, I, like, that would be amazing news if it, they announced that. It would be that. like the crew. Like that, uh, that game, yeah. the crew with driving. There's, I don't know if you guys know that Ubisoft is coming out with the game. It's called The Crew. And basically you drive around. It's like a driving game, but you can drive all across the United States. The United States, yeah. There's, yeah. It's not like, yeah, they have like, what, 30 or so cities? I don't know. It's, How it's crazy. How would the transition work in GTA Online? Yeah, like, let's say you wanted, thing. like, what would you time. do? <laughs> would it be yeah. a huge? I mean, I don't know. You know what you'd probably have to do? You'd probably have to go to, like, your apartment, and you'd probably have to go to, like, the computer. And I think it would be cool to, like, if you, just, travel no, you just go to the airport. You travel to the yeah. airport, and you fly. I mean, that'd make the most sense. But then you would have different lobbies. How would loading would... work online? Because there's no, like, yeah, it'd have know. to be, like, another server. Like, that's where yeah, You would join would another lobby. Weird. You would join another lobby. Because then, yeah, because then, what, like, would your friends be with you? Like, would they come? Like, that's, there's a bunch of issues with that. Because, like, in GTA Online, there's no loading times at all. Unless you got to, like, go to a new lobby or go to a race. Like, in the actual free mode. You mean there's you know, no like areas of the map that have to load if you yeah, try to yeah yeah like you know yeah. regular single player so I was gonna games, say there's sometimes some you go into a cave or a house and they gotta load but like GTA it's not like that everything's open and I don't know but I mean after heists and you know and a single player this, DLC this goes into the uh, the DLCs we'll want to see whatever after heists what is there maybe DLC. there's a single player DLC maybe probably is because there's that's be how two. GTA four you know, went, but, but we, we already see, like, honestly, who plays single player anymore? You know, many people, it's although it's game. great, yeah. you know, it's a great game. Yeah. But people want to play with friends and that's why a lot of these games coming out, they're incorporating, they see single players kind of fading off. Like, yeah, it's still good and everything. People still enjoy it, but to play the game for a long period of time, you need to play with friends. For the most part. I mean, obviously, there's, well, like, games yeah, I like think Skyrim there, or Fallout. I was literally there. just about to say that. There are games that are built for single player, and I think those games do that very well, like those developers like Bethesda that make, like, Fallout and Skyrim. Yeah. But the trend is definitely, like, multiplayer only. Like, even Titanfall. Titanfall has, like, its campaign, it's which just is literally... Yeah, which is literally takes, like, two hours to beat, is just multiplayer. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that, like, the trend. And you got the new game, Destiny, coming out. That's going to be pretty much multiplayer. Uh, I mean, there is, like, a single player, I think, to it. But, you know, for the most part, it's multiplayer. Like, The Division, that's going to be multiplayer. Well, that's Everything one of the main is... reasons why, like, people are so scared about Watch Dogs and how it's going to do is because, like, the single player is so great, but it also integrates multiplayer into the single player. And a lot of people didn't really like that aspect. Like, I know yeah, a well, lot of people... you can turn it off, though, if yeah, you really I know, I know, but, like, I know a lot of people are just like, why would you even want that, you know? Like, I think it's cool. I think it's fun. Yeah, it's cool. I, I don't know. I, I really like... And we're just jumping here from City Stories of Watch Dogs now and jumping all over the place, but... I don't know. These games, um, 
definitely have more of a multiplayer feel to them. The more time you can spend with friends, the more time you'll spend in game. Because once a single player is done, example, The Last of Us, once I yeah. beat The Last of Us, I wasn't going yeah, but, back to play it. Like, it was just like, okay, I beat it. It was a great game. One of the best games I've ever played. Let's put it in the shelf and never yeah. touch it again. And that I needs think, to be a movie, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It definitely. Does. I know. I need to. I'm actually gonna play. I'm gonna buy a PS4 just to play it. But um, but no. Going back to the whole city stories thing, like, because people do love GTA single player. You know, it, it's one of the one of the best games of what 2013. I mean, it was and, game of the year. Yeah, and you know, people love that. But they also love the online a little bit more, possibly. I mean, I get there's like issues and stuff, but more people play it online longer and more than the single player. But what they could do with the city stories is have some character. I know, like, wasn't it Lamar that people were saying, it, like, the first DLC might be based off of? Well, like, that's the thing. In, in GTA 4, the main characters for both DLCs, you saw them for less than three minutes in-game. Like, in the uh, game, yeah. Yeah, the guy from um, GTA 4, the Battle Gay, Tony Luis, he was just a side character in one of the uh, bank yeah, heist bank missions heist, in yeah. GTA 4. So yeah, it's like... I think what they could do with the city stories is, you know, maybe they go in or, or into the uh, the past or they can even just start where the game is, you know, where the ending left off and have a city stories. And maybe you you and you play as Lamar and you have like Franklin as like your sidekick or whatever. And you're going sidekick. to like, I don't know, you're going to like San, yeah, dude, San Fierro. I don't know how to say that or Lost Ventures. And they and that's how they combine the uh, like. And that's how they get the other cities because not only do you get the single player story with these other cities and these other, um, you know, lands that uh, they have in the GTA universe, but then they can also transfer that to online and make both people happy. Yeah. That like single player and online. I just think it's going to be an overall great idea and great way. Or I just really hope it's not. Like it. I hope it's not going to be a, a, a mobile game. I really hope it's not because. It's just, just for everyone wa listening, Does watching, anybody even don't get your hopes up. Anymore? Don't get your hopes up that this is going to be a GT Online. Like, GT Online is going to Miami. GT Online is going to New York, even though that's what I'm going to title my video. But just don't get super excited on that in those regards. Like, Listen, we like to dream big. You guys yeah, know Just that. dream big, hope big, and then, you know, if it doesn't work. I mean, See, sucks. here's another interesting thing, and I don't know if you guys heard this, but I just saw it today. Uh, Take Two actually just trademarked Agent again. Yeah, I don't no, want they, they scrapped that project because it. it they didn't though, because why would so they, bad? Why? See, but that's the thing. That thing was like announced in like two thousand. It two thousand nine, but why? That's what makes it interesting. Why would they all of a sudden trademark that name again? Huh? Um, I I think because it's cheap and easy to do. Yeah, but I don't know. Like the trademark if, runs out like every five listen, years. I so. said that. Uh, well, it's been five years, so I've said since this whole like. Rockstar game coming out in 2000, uh, what is it, 50, or 2014 to 2015, like with that guaranteed to be coming out a game from Rockstar. Then they had the whole Sony thing with them being leaked and yeah, how they were going to announce at E3 because so it's, it's just, Agent might be a possibility because that was supposed to be a Sony exclusive. So well, don't thing, don't throw that out the uh, out they've the got mix to yet. announce something though. They can't just say like, oh, here's a new game. Here you go. Yeah, like even, even it would fit. It would fit so much or so much with the whole Agent like theme of being a secretive spy type of thing. Because if you think about it, if it was like a Red Dead Redemption two or whatever Red Dead three, because everybody gets mad when I say Red Dead Redemption two, whatever. The third game of that series, if it was that, they have, or like, and it was supposed to come out this year, they would have already, like, announced it. Like, Look, Rockstar's really good at just being, surprise! Here yeah, but you GTA, go, they the announced game. that in, like, 2011. Like, early, two, yeah, 2011. So that was two years before. So I don't think that they were just surprises with the Red Dead. But a spy game, they could be like, we worked well, on they, this under y'all noses the whole time. You never know. No man, one I... wants this. <laughs> but here you go. Yeah, we I made know. it. I mean,. You guys want Rockstar, a heist? We made most, a new game. most of Rockstar's games are uh, are good, but, but yeah, I don't know. Don't don't throw that out just yet. Yeah. I mean, I'm not looking forward possible. to it, but if yeah. it's good, I mean, it's good. I'm not I'm not a bully hater, like, but come on now, I'd rather have another GTA 4 DLC, not bully, yeah. or Red Dead Redemption 3, not bully too. I don't know. I, I that, sort of that, agree with that. I like I like the Red Dead Redemption. I like the Red Dead game. So, but Red Dead is a great game. You know what? I just yeah. want to see GTA on uh, PC first, and then we can have City Stories as much. Doesn't happen. That works for you me. You know what I'm saying? But let's jump into <laughs> that Rockstar. The, let's you hear that Rockstar? Hey, 
With the next uh, topic, we're going to talk about GTA 5 DLCs that we want to see. Oh, now, of course, we already covered the city story stuff. But what else would you want to see? Like, if you could have one DLC that would come right now. Is this online or story mode? Uh, general. Just all GTA 5. And leave your comments down below, guys. What would you want to see in terms of a GTA 5 DLC? We want to see your opinions and comments in this topic. So, uh, take it, Ross. I have no idea. I asked this uh, question on my stream a few days ago. And a lot of people... A lot of people's initial reaction was North Yankton, kind of because they got a taste of that yeah. during winter, and uh, they they like the nostalgic ability of going back there. But a lot of a lot of what we talked about so far, um, like going to other cities, which I know is a stretch because that hasn't been implemented yet. But um, I'd be fine with I, you know what I really want to see opened. I really want to see either uh, a Las Venturas, which is Las Vegas, or I want to see the freaking casino opened. Not only because I'm pretty good at blackjack and Texas Hold'em, but I also think that would be a really cool DLC in terms of like, uh, oh, yeah, and it would also be very profitable for Rockstar because people would yeah. be blowing money yeah. at that casino. That's that's I, one of my top ones as see, well. See, honestly, if you think about it, that's almost the logical choice next for at least the 360 because, like we said, them at like GTA Online, run like you you see the loading times, you see when you're going fast, like nothing loads, like it's already pushing the limits. So if they added another landmass you know that's probably not gonna happen my so xbox I think, can cook meat it gets that hot <laughs> <when> <laughs> <we> <laughs> <ran the throat> <laughs> <laughs> but um exactly so like it's almost impossible to add that or to want that stuff on the 360 so it, if you were gonna want a dlc it had to be something that's like already there now and the casino would be perfect like yeah. they pushed heists and they can push a casino dlc where there's like all the games you know like uh, ross just said they can even put like a freaking lottery in there or something. Like they have so many options with that, and uh, you know that would that could be cool. But you know I don't I don't know what other kind of like DLCs though. I think major a, ones at least. A really cool one. I talked about this in my recent video because it was just a GTA Five mod, and I thought of this idea that would be cool for like DLCs. Would be like um, not like an I guess like an auction house system, but a player based one where you can sell. Uh, skins for your guns and skins for your cars and um, different paint jobs that you create for That's I mean, what I said. either guns. I know you said the car thing because you said the shark thing last week, but like just for for guns alone because I've been playing a lot of Counter Strike. Oh, no, they had that in uh, they had that in what was it the uh, Midnight Club LA, which was made by Rockstar. I mean, it wasn't for guns, obviously, that was a car game, but they had an entire system. It was linked up to Social Club. People made awesome like paint jobs with skins and decals and a bunch of stuff the and then is, they would imagine if you put them on a market that. yeah that's what it was Wait, you put that? it on a market oh, yeah you heck? put it on a thing people would vote it up and like and now i don't remember in that game if somebody bought it if you got money i think you got like maybe ten thousand dollars if the car cost like a million or something i don't know i could be wrong on that but um but yeah dude that was like that was the one of the best features but that's why i love that game so much because i remember I stayed up like freaking forever just making really awesome cars and then just looking on the thing, looking at what other people made. I just think crazy. it would it would stimulate the economy so much. Like if you could like sell cool because I've been playing a lot of Counter Strike Go, like, like I said, and if you guys don't know, Steam has made it so that you can sell and create your own designs on your guns and then post them on this the store. So like, you know, if, if they get featured and Steam likes them, you actually can make money from your design so real life money like actual cash like real that's money. like a Wait, gfx are you, are you, artist are you talking about in, in like relating this to gta you mean like people would make money like gta money yeah but this would be gta money so like you can like make some cool designs in game and then like i guess like a a i don't know a gun color creator or a, a car sticker creator stuff like that where like you could just create things for your items in game to make it more personal, because I think everybody wants to have personal ability. Like you, you want to make things yours. You know, like that's why people love customizing cars. People love, you know, changing the paint on cars just because you can make that car represent you. So if you can make all your weapons, all your clothes, everything represent how you are in real life, or how you want your character to appear, or how you want to come off as, it would make GTA Online that much more enjoyable. See, here's the thing. We always kind of forget about when we talk about like stuff we want. I think by now we can agree, like whether you play the game, hate the game, like the game, whatever. Rockstar, whatever they do, they want to make money from it. So 
if they added something like that, like, because we've already seen, they've they've made Rooftop Rumble, they've changed it so many times because they want people to buy their shark cards. Well, you could make that. So the, they could make those like shark card only. Yeah. They could make like yeah. uh, something like that. Like, and, and what makes that really possible, Garrett, is a Social Club. Because, yeah, like, the what, fact that you could make your own emblem. Yeah. They've got, like, the feature of implementing your own Photoshop designs into the game. They would just have to, like, code it to get it to yeah. work on the... I mean, uh, it would be a great uh, installation to the game, in my opinion. I just think that would be amazing. Like, And it could also be used well, to make Rockstar see, money. Yeah, I don't see why, you know, because they do have the the, uh, the crew emblem maker. Why not, on Social Club, have a the car, car yeah. skin maker where you do it and then... I don't know, maybe you can, you can set, set it, it as your crew yeah. color, or not your crew color, but like your crew skin, or you know, you can just put it to your car and it syncs up with the cloud and everything. Or you good. can even sell skins for in-game money, and then people would use like shark cards to buy that to those skins if they're really cool. Yeah, and like they have Rockstar verified jobs, they can have Rockstar verified skins. Yeah, where like you'd have to and, pay like shark card money only for them. Yeah, I mean... And, they, and, and if there were limited time, like limited quantity, like a really cool one that's like... They're only gonna be selling two hundred because that's what World of Warcraft does, man. When they have, when they, you know, unveil mounts like a new mount. Oh, we're only selling this mount for for a week, dude. They sell like a hundred thousand mounts at fifty dollars a piece, and they make bank within like a week's time. It's like, okay, well, we just paid off all our yeah, staff in one week. That's that's the thing, Rockstar, and 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 the one thing we are forgetting about GTA Online is such a new th like this is the first time they did they did something that big for online you know and it's taken so many gta games you know if you go all the way back to like the first one it wasn't that great you know it, so it's going to get better over time but yeah of course that's the one thing rockstar needs to learn how to do is make uh, is how to get people to buy the shark cards without making them buy like you're gonna like as a company i think you want people to buy them not like you don't want to make them buy. Like, you don't want to make it mandatory because that's yeah. kind of what they're doing now. They're like, well, either pay 18 well, that's, yeah, that's what hours it's, a day it's, and that's what, money that's or... That's what turns, like, um, a game into a pay-to-win or, like, you know, free-to-play. Like, you can't really pay-to-win in GTA Online, I don't think. Like, you can't, no. like, you no. know, if the more money you have, the more you can kill people because at the end of the day, it's like, it's either your gun can kill them or not. Like, your skill can hit them or not. So, regardless, I mean, if you grind... I think if you grind hard enough in GTA Online, you will achieve what you want but I think, it will take a long freaking time and that's where it comes in like how valuable is your time because like yeah i think that you know honestly since rockstar does want their money that might even be the most logical choice for the next dlc if it's not a free dlc like we are, are saying like a july 4th one or something like, like something small like that if it's not anything like that the next big one you know after heist might be something like that where like creator, they like can add creator. something where they can make money from it um and it'd get people to come back and play I'd the be, game i'd be happy if they added what i just said but that, that's oh, a yeah. really freaking cool thing just in general just customization of everything even apartment customization i want that so bad but i think we spend a lot of time talking about gta5 dlcs we want to see let's jump into some watchdogs because as a lot of you guys know watchdogs is one of the most anticipated games of 2014 it releases uh in about what is it? Three days? Three days two days? Yeah. No, three, three days. Well, Tuesday yeah. or Monday night, so yeah, whatever. Yeah, three days. So uh, what do you guys think? I know, okay, so I've played Watch Dogs for over now 10 hours because I have Watch Dogs already. I got it on Friday, and I've been playing it, doing this story mode, playing some free roam. Austin played an exclusive event. Ross has seen, seen some exclusive footage. Um, so what do you guys think in general like of what Watch Dogs brings to the table? And what the player base that Watch Dogs or Ubisoft trying to target is looking for. I mean, I think I read an article today that said like uh, that Watch Dogs multiplayer is like GTA Online with hacking, and I think that's cool. I think that they, yep. I think that the GTA Online approach to this is good because GTA Online system has obviously worked. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been it's it wouldn't have been as successful as it is so far. Yeah, I'm, and I I know I say this a lot, and it's probably super boring to hear, but the only the thing it's going to be is just execution. Like if they execute their, you know, things to do in online multiplayer, so it doesn't get boring. Do they execute how, like the ability to separate single player from multiplayer or people who want a combination of both? And I mean, it's it 
it's a game that they've been working on for like four years. So I don't expect there to be lots of bugs. I expect it to run pretty smoothly. And, uh, you know, we'll just have to see how the community takes it. Because honestly, like I, I, like a game like a Minecraft, like it got a bunch of YouTube support and that really pushed the start of that game. I think the same thing will happen with Watch Dogs. Like if Watch Dogs gets a really good YouTube push, I think it will do better than it would have without a YouTube yeah, push. Yeah, you say that, but look at, look at Titanfall. Titanfall had like every YouTuber pushing it and then people just saw it and after a I week. Titanfall is a good game. It's just boring. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Watch Dogs, I mean, it was fun. We played it. Now, we played it like, what, early alpha. So, I mean, I'm not going to base what, you know, I played at the event. But uh, I don't know. I'm excited because actually me and Ross should be getting it when you're seeing this. Um, we're yeah, recording we'll this. Obviously, we don't have it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it should be cool. And going off of what Garrett said before, talking about the whole how single player is like integral to a multiplayer, I think – that's a that's a good thing, you know. Uh, it's something new, at least. Yeah. You know, yeah, I don't yeah. think any game has had that before. I think that's what Watch Dogs really is bringing to the table. Just like the fact that there's a lot of new things that we've never seen before. Yeah, you know that, and then also like the like literally the one thing I am really excited about, and the like the one thing I noticed a lot when we went to the event, the fact that every person in the game is unique. Yeah, they're all like that's identity. that's crazy to me. Yeah. And it what's even better is that because in the game you know you can hack and. You can see everybody's what like profile, I guess. Yeah. You know their name, how much they make. Each person has a different description, um, m- amount of money in their bank, name, everything. It's 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 pretty crazy what the detail is, and that's that's the one thing I'm I'm kind of excited to explore. So I have I a that, question. Oh, uh, sorry, I have a question really quick, just to jump off that. Um, is too much hype unhealthy? Like. I think that's where where Titanfall got hurt because they had so much hype, and then when it came out, it was like that. This is it. Like, well, I think Titanfall got a bad rep because it, and not that it, it gave itself its own attention, but everyone said this is the COD killer. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is going to be be the thing that brings down COD. And, and I think nobody's the, saying like Watch Dogs is going to be the yeah, GTA no one's killer. Like, Watch Dogs is not the GTA killer. Everyone literally put the stamp on Titanfall. This is the COD killer, and this is the future. And I, I, like I said, I think Titanfall is a good game. It's just super boring, and it's obviously not a COD killer. Yeah. And I think that the community hyped up Titanfall to be this like holy thing that no one can touch. And when people don't find it to be that great, it is kind of a letdown. I honestly bought Titanfall, and after playing the beta, I never opened the game. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I think there's bought it and never played it. <laughs> I think there's two types of hype. There's the community hype that um. That the uh, like the community gave Titanfall because it's not like EA and Respawn were like really pumping up their own game. I think and then the, that, I think they were, man. I think like they were paying IGN all these companies to. Well, everyone sure. pays IGN to give them a good review. No, well, I know, but I think that it was just done so that you know, like, because I believe the hype. That was IGN's biggest thing. Believe the hype. Believe the hype. Believe the hype. And literally, like, it was like this thing sucks. It's like the, like no review that came out besides Angry Joe's was like really, you know, yeah. nitty gritty, like in the dirt. Like, what is this? Like, why are all these people saying this game is a 10 out of 10 when there's all these problems? So, I don't know. Hopefully, Watch Dogs doesn't suffer from that same the one, problem. The one thing, though, that comparing Watch Dogs to Titanfall, Titanfall was pushed out so early by EA. Like, like that game is not finished. Like, I mean, I haven't played it in a while, but when it first came out, it was not finished. Like, it definitely needed there's a like couple more guns. months of development and stuff. Where Ubisoft or with Watch Dogs and Ubisoft, so it's been pushed back. So you know that like they're ready to get this thing out. They you I mean they better so. be. You would hope so. God, yeah. they've had half a freaking decade to make this game. <laughs> yeah, and they even <laughs> you know pushed it back. So you know, yeah, I, it's I like five years worth of. I could have playing. circumnavigated the globe in a sailboat like but before this game is done. <laughs> That's true. See, well. <laughs> and and maybe it might even because the the hype. I think we can all agree was like a year ago like so many people were excited when it was originally supposed to come out in november so the hype has kind of died down so i think now i mean maybe with the hype it might have been a letdown to some people you know after playing just a little bit of it i think that but i think now if you go into it with an open mind especially since there's no games out right now and gta is really boring uh for the most part until heist comes out you know it'll be a fun fun couple of 
weeks that she oh, plays. Oh, I'm really excited for yeah. this. I think it's, everyone is, to be honest yeah, with you. It's definitely going to be a it's, – it's, it's a good time because right now there's nothing. There's nothing going on in, in, in consoles and gaming. There's, like, no great game. Maybe Wolfenstein's out there. But, like, there's something, like, mm. people are, like, really excited for. And Watch Dogs really provides that – fresh aspect okay there's something new to play especially for new gen because there's nothing yeah. out for new gen watchdogs is the face of gaming right now yeah. like whether you want it to or not this is the game that everyone's going to be focusing on for at least the next week as like the face of gaming yeah for sure it's gonna be on the top of twitch it's gonna be the top of um youtube search results in terms of just like people trying to see what the hell watch is all about because i'm sure it's going to be trending on twitter and everything yeah, like it's that already, it's the thing that's already tw trending but i think the biggest things that people are pissed about about watchdogs is a few things one of them being very simple. There's no jumping. People are furious. What? Yeah, you can't just hop around and watch dogs. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So you I, can, like you can I, parkour. You can you can, you can jump oh, okay. over, over can, fences, but you yeah. can't just free jump. You can't like, just you free can't... jump. Yeah. People are oh, pissed about that. Second yeah, thing people are pissed about, about is there's no aircraft vehicles you can fly or use. Yeah, but see, the one thing people have got to realize this isn't GTA, so don't be expecting air vehicles. Yeah. But, but the, that's, the that's city, the thing. That's what's against you, you don't need, GTA you don't the bar need so air vehicles high. in this game. I like. I think it's gonna be perfectly fine. Dude, I think air vehicles might have ruined it. Yeah, you because the city's not that it. big. The yep. city's not that big, yep. and yep. it's filled with so much stuff. It's such a dense city. Yeah, like you're not even gonna realize uh, that you're missing air vehicles. So let me tell you guys a little thing what happened um, when I was playing it, and I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say this, but let's just. I did this at an exclusive Screw event. Screw it. I did this in the exclusive event in California. So. When I was playing Watch Dogs, you know, last month, not yesterday, I, um, I was able to really use hacking as a tool. I literally stood Aiden Pierce on a sidewalk and just went from camera to camera killing people that I had to kill using the you environment. Can, wait, how do you kill them with the camera? Well, like, well, in the area that they were in, there are things that you could blow up. Oh, okay. So, well, like, yeah, yeah, once yeah. they would, like, I would distract them, make them go one area, and once they get there, just blow it up. And, like, five people would die. I made, like, some huge crate that was hanging. Like, fall on two guys and crush them. Like, all this yeah. really cool stuff. So, I don't know. Watch Dogs really bring something new to the table. And people need to stop comparing it directly to GTA Online because it's its own game. Like, they're just – they're both free roam games. They both have multiplayer, single player. They're both great in that aspect. But when it comes down to the nitty-gritty and what Watch Dogs delivers and offers – and what GTA offers, they're two different playing fields in terms of what your objectives are and how you can play the game. So, And I, th I think people will drop that once they, they actually realize, yeah, get yeah, the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. For they sure. just have to play the game first because right now— But that's the they hard just, part. Yeah, because yeah, right now they're seeing Watch Dogs, and they've played GTA. And so they automatically make that assumption. They say, yep. wait, this needs to be like this. But once they play it and they realize that it is its own separate entity and it's its own game, I think people will be less frustrated with the fact that it isn't GTA and more happy with the fact that it is Watch Dogs and it is that game. Yep. Yeah, I definitely the one agree. thing, though, I will say, unless they fixed it from when I played it, Garrett might be able to touch on this. The driving. <laughs> the driving. I was worried about that. I hate it in the game, man. Yeah, like That's the one thing. If they would have taken anything from GTA, you know, take the driving, man. But Yeah, they'd, um, yeah. Is it still, still kind of clunky? From when Ubisoft, we played it. Ubisoft when, games are always sucking. Like, it's it's not clunky, I guess, but it's just. It's not driving, as smooth. The driving's not smooth, but it's not stiff. It's, like, really, like. Yeah, it's in the middle. I don't know. It feels like. You know, like when you see someone driving on a street and they just don't know how to drive and they're accelerating, braking, accelerating, braking, and that's what yeah. I feel like when I drive. It's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like it's just, it's really. Someone's really... gonna save that three second sound bite and yeah, I don't some, do that. Please, guys. someone say that. But yeah, it's freaking weird. Like I'm just not used to it. And that's what I described in my Q and A video the other day. Just like go into Watch Dogs with an open mind, open heart in every aspect, including driving, because you're gonna see it. But like I freaking hate driving because it's not. GTA Online driving. So just keep that in mind, guys. Don't be like, oh, my God. You know, I wish this was, like, GTA Online. But it is what it is. Hopefully, you know, maybe in the near future they might fix something with driving and do some more stuff. But let's go ahead and wrap this episode up because, I mean, this has been an amazing episode. We covered City Stories, GTA 5 DLCs, what we want to see, Watch Dogs. And overall, any last remarks you want to cover? Uh, Austin, well, I, mean, I think that the last thing with Watch Dogs, it's going to be a great single-player game. Yeah. The multiplayer is the big question because uh, it – I don't know. The way – I've seen some gameplay, I don't know if it's going to be as good as GTA Online. That, I mean that's just what we're going to have to wait and see. But yep. the single player, I am super excited. Can't wait to get something fresh again, you know? We're just, just so. going to have to wait and see. That's all we can do, just wait and see. But uh, Ross, you want to take us out? 
Yeah, I mean, um, what do you want me to talk about? Just like, uh, just like wrap it up. Yeah, just wrap it up. Say your last remarks, and we can just close it up. Say yeah, I mean, um, I'm excited for Watch Dogs in a few days. I'm excited for um, the, probably the announcement of Heist in I'd say two or three weeks, and uh, I'm excited to uh, learn a lot about some new games at E3 in like four weeks or whenever that is. Less than that, no, actually. It's like two weeks. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thank you guys so much for watching the episode 13 of the Squadcast. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys drop a like. Check out everyone's channel down below. And we'll see you guys next Saturday with a brand new Squadcast. Or tomorrow with our daily uploads of GTA 5, Watch Dogs, and more. Later, guys. See ya. Peace.